Hi, Mark with GoldenTigger.com on Friday, uh, November the 2nd, 2012. And here's a chart of Apple. And Apple did something uh, not so good today. It sliced through its 200-day moving average on a pickup in volume and above average volume. Not a good sign. Uh, Apple has been uh, in a uh, nice uh, downtrend here uh, since September after hitting a, a high of around $705 and uh, took out its 50-day moving average uh, here back in early October and uh, came down here, got some support along the 100-day moving average line uh, for a little over a week and then crashed through that and uh, now we're taking out the 200-day moving average. Uh, Apple uh, is clearly in trouble here and uh, has not uh, sliced through this 200-day moving average in quite some time. Now we go to a weekly chart and we can see uh, clearly that we're uh, uh, slicing through this 40 week moving average which uh, coincides with the 200 day moving average and that we uh, broke out of this cup with a handle base uh, here uh, during the summer and it looked like uh, Apple was off to the races here uh, despite uh, losing Steve Jobs of course uh, this year and uh, you know of course getting a new CEO and all that so um, uh, this base here has now been uh, demolished and uh, taking that out so there's really uh, no clear support for Apple except this gray area here the Bollinger Band and uh, the previous break low of 567.56 which is about 10 points away uh, then you got support down here at about the 520 level on that uh, previous uh, uh, break low here so uh, Apple, yeah, not, uh, getting support down here last year uh, around this time, a couple of times along the 200-day moving average, uh, breaking through the 200-day moving average here uh, uh, just for a couple of weeks uh, in uh, last summer, but recovering. So uh, let's see what happens. So far, this leg down is still uh, uh, in force and uh, Apple moving lower. Did Apple jump the shark? Uh, that's yet to be seen, uh, uh, but uh, so far uh, definitely some weakness.